Hey, orange one here. So we've got ourselves a bit of a problem. Britannia's crushing the Asari nation. And we got to join the military if we want to make a difference. So Radon, although he is merely a merchant, he's going straight to the Sultan. And I am asking if I can join him. And he's going to give us a little bit of cash, but... That's not really why we're doing this. We're doing this for our country. So we're going to be basically just trying to get up into Batanian land and just cause all kinds of mischief. We might raid a village or something. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Um, there's an army that's been created down over there. I think I should probably go join that army. But I also want to go raid. It's just, I want to show off some cool stuff. I got some cool new toys. Check this out. Um, I got a new bow and I think maybe a new horse. I don't know. I got like new armor, new bow. I got new lots of stuff basically. Um, we do need some proper armor though. Also, sergeants, take command. you guys can just charge in probably, but I'm gonna let the sergeants do it how they want to do it. Hopefully they don't end up running my... Cav, I'm actually just going to keep with me. We're going to just do a little bit of hammer and anvil action. We're going to get the cavalry over here. And then loop around. And those looters should be kind of getting split between us and the infantry. So we'll just kind of be a little bit cheap but yeah okay very cheap but you know this is we gotta we gotta get ready for war right now we gotta get our guys ready so we're gonna take out a couple criminals oh I just hit that horse yeah guys don't um, don't pet the the local wildlife Yeah, so if we just match pace with these guys, we can get super easy headshots. Right. Oh, you gotta lead it low a little bit, apparently. But you can see that we, um... We're not messing around. We, we got a decent band of troops here. <laughs> Still mine. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna see about what we can do. Roof charge! I think we've won though. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got some renown for that. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna take prisoners, not looters. I'll take your stuff, but I don't want to have to deal with the people. Um, and we're gonna make our way up to Batanian land. If we can take out some more looters on the way, then so be it. I won't, won't bat my eye. We'll just auto it though. We can do that without actually losing anyone. Get a little gold. Um, yeah, this place. If I, I don't know if I pointed it out, but it's uh, it's under siege by like a big old army over there. Army created. Uh. Where is that? It says, like, it's like... Iowatis? Yeah, that might be the army that's trying to defend this place. I honestly... I'm not sure if I want to be a part of that or not. Unless they got a real big army. And I'm not sure how they're going to go about attacking with that army. I'm not sure... If I want to do that or just like go in and do some guerrilla warfare, I think honestly the smarter thing is doing guerrilla warfare. Um, but I'm going to just maybe check out what's what's going on down here with this uh this supposed army that they've got. Okay, yeah, he's got 145. If I look there. Yeah, there's two lords there. 
I mean, part of me wants to follow them. Let's, let's talk to them and see what the deal is with them. Um, I want to join your army. I'm not sure if I do want it to. I can't even ask him what he's about to do. Yeah, with only a hundred something troops here right now, I mean, you've got another 30 right there. I don't know, man. I think we need to just go to raiding the countryside. I'm going to take my party and, and see what uh, mischief we can get ourselves up into. Maybe we'll we'll kill some looters just to get ourselves just a little bit more experience. Nothing you can go just really quick though, because I have forgotten to level my guys. Yeah, we need to get this group up and trained if we're gonna be going to war. Yeah, let's get some horsemen. I might even want to get rid of that um that looter just to free up some space for us. Yeah, I think we'll attack these guys, heal up a little bit, and then we'll um, go about raiding. I mean, what I would really like to do is maybe attack a caravan, but I'm not sure if we have the numbers to really do that. Yeah, we can just... we can easily handle these guys, no problem. And look at all those people ready to level up, it's beautiful. Um, yes, definitely. I'm honestly, I don't know the troops well enough to be able to really designate them intelligently. I'm just kind of going through it randomly, which is kind of the most fun, you know? When you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm pressing buttons. Let's see what happens. Um... I am going to get some more recruits, though, before we go into said enemy territory. We will get mercenaries in the uh, cities that allow us to. I will definitely take any trained troops that I can, I can for now, and we'll ditch them if we need to later. We have enough income that we can actually just fire people, and it's not a big deal if, someone, if we find someone better. Um... Let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. I probably don't want to be right on the front of everything. Oh, that's a pretty big party there. 154. Like, see, we don't want to be messing with that. I'm looking for, like, villagers or something. Can I maybe try and raid this place? Uh. Actually, hold on. We're not gonna we're not gonna attack, we're just a little too weak right now to properly attack. Can I um force them to give me supplies? No, I can't. Uh that is a shame. Let's go see if we can find some villagers or something. Yep, villagers. Perfect, that's what I was looking for. Um no, they're gonna go back home. Or not. Nice. Okay. Yeah, whatever you have, I'm taking it. It lo looks like... Oh, never mind. Um, looks like there's another army that's been created. Let's just wait for that villager to go away from the village. Because <laughs> I don't want to be looking at, at a fight of, against 75 right now. That does not seem like a smart move. Yeah, honestly, I kind of want that looter to just die. So that we don't have to deal with them being in the party anymore. Yeah. We're resorting to it. We're doing banditry to uh, slow down the battalions. Honestly, uh, Bowman! let's see how how do I want to do this? Move them. I want them to do advance. Move to enemy. And then stand your ground. Yeah, stand your ground there. Cavalry, follow me. Come over here. We're just gonna go around the long way, like we did in the past. Infantry! Infantry. Infantry. Uh... Forward! Yeah, go ahead and come up, infantry. Move. Maybe come over this way. Cavalry, we're gonna go take out the ones that are fleeing. 
Yeah, there's no need to take damage right now. And I don't think we will, honestly. Given... Yeah. I don't know if we lost a single person there. Good. This is what... Oh, I just hit one of my dudes. This is what the Batanians were not expecting. You know, expecting the, um, essentially the Bedouin raiders to come after them and their villagers. Well, I mean, they're raiding our city. Don't, don't feel too bad for them. Then again, it's not the peasants' fault, right? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go up here. I'm just kind of curious to see, oh, they've actually got a bigger, um, group of people defending. Okay, well maybe the 50 wasn't so bad. Uh, Fennigan, uh, do not want to fight you. You look like a nasty boy. This might be in the deep of the enemy country. Um, they also have a defense of 50. There is some villagers though. I think we might be able to get those uh, villagers. Uh, never mind. Okay, they... Probably are way better troops than Wab well, Battalion Volunteers. I don't know how good that is of a troop, to be honest. Um, and because of that, I think I'm going to avoid him for now. Or we'll just continue to harass villagers. You know, like, this whole game actually has a dynamic economy to it. So, uh, the interesting thing is, actually, by attacking those villagers, I am making it so the city gets... Uh, less supplies and it's going to hurt their economy like it really does have an effect on um, how this all plays out you know I don't know how big of an effect it is we'll see but we're gonna use it as a way to, as a means to Everyone essentially just level on my flank. give ourselves some experience um, get our troops a little bit better I would like to be able to just go to um, the bars that we end up going to and getting some really high level troops, but I've found that that's actually not that good of a method anymore as it was in compared to a uh, warband, that is. Because in warband, you could get some really good units doing it that way, but I've found that that's not really been the case. Oop, missed. There we go. Yeah, these guys are going... They're taking a few more hits. They're still going down. Oh man, that dude's got a two-handed axe. Oh, he actually got a hit or two on that, that dude. I think there's a dude over there that's trying to get away. Can't have that. These battalions. It's weird because, like, I'm English, man, so I'm, like, attacking the English as, uh, this, like, merchant character from the Sari Empire, who's, uh, defending his people. <laughs> That's at least how I justify this. Right. And, you know, I think that we actually get some decent stuff from doing this. I mean, the peasants are not worth taking prisoner, but I mean, that was actually pretty bad, but I think you can get like, what they would be bringing. Oh, look. Look at that. There's a lord right there. I'm not gonna get to him in time. There's 40 defenders here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into the city. Maybe I should go to the, the edge where I can maybe find a place um i get more experience no i just got more cash like seriously look how much cash i've got right now it's insane uh not gonna raid there let's go to maybe like here ish because that's oh wait what the jaw walls oh the bedouins they've got they're working for them Hold on, what's going on here? I honestly don't know if I want to attack them or not because, 
Yeah, they're working for the Batanians. They've got like Batanian recruits and stuff. I'm pretty sure. Can I go to like the encyclopedia actually? Uh, kingdoms. If I go to Batania. Yeah, I don't know. I think that it's just that we're at war with them because we're part of the Sari Empire. I think they're not actually working for the Batanians. Pretty sure. Oh, look, the Force Bandits have a little place around here. Uh, the militia's um, 74 there. Defenders, 69. Uh, that's going to be kind of tough. Okay, let's, let's go over here. We'll see what we can find. Maybe... Oh, there's a car a couple caravans. There's a caravan of 30. I don't think we're going to be able to catch that. Oh, actually, we might be able to. Huh. Do I want to attack a caravan of 30? I'm going to just... Um, hold on. i see about getting some recruits in the tavern. See what units are here for us. Watchmen. Um, yeah, they're not the best units, but they're better than nothing. Especially if we're, gonna, we're about to attack this group here. I am going to um, get a couple of those just to make sure that we're moving. Maybe not these ones. Maybe I want um, like proper actual horses for people to uh, like ride on. Let's do like that. And then, oh, you know what I wanted to do is we'll do a little bit of shopping. Anything? Uh, that's not really what we're looking for. No. Not what I want. Oh, I could give them what I've got though. I just saw all that stuff that we have in here. There wasn't anything that I was trying to keep in there. No. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, crime does pay, I guess. Uh, we got 50. We got four wounded. How are they doing speed wise compared to us now? I'm at. Yeah, I just kind of want to see, because if they're way faster than me, this is going to be frustrating. There's 6.1. Yeah, I don't know. This might not be worth it. Might want to just see about attacking this uh, this village. Just kind of wait it out for a little bit. Yeah, I think... If they're looking at them, they're militia spearmen and archers. They do have quite a few more units than us, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to look for a place that has a smaller garrison of people. Not much smaller there. <laughs> um, villagers. Okay. There are some villagers there. I don't know. They're running from mountain bandits. I think that they may have um, already gone to that village. I'm not sure. Uh, 13 Sumter horses. All right, I'm taking those then. Thanks for the horses. Yeah, you guys just kind of do your thing. I think that they can, the AI can handle a couple of, a couple of villagers, don't you? And like I said, I do feel bad for this, but you got we gotta save that city. This is how we do it. It's not pretty, but this is how we uh, we win the war, as they say. So I've been on a as I'm sure a lot of people are like just watching a ton of TV like on Amazon and um, Netflix and man I've been watching a lot of like war movies and I am so excited for a siege like honestly like you've no idea 
how excited I am for doing a siege. I, I just realized the music's super loud right now, isn't it? Oh, missed. Yeah, it's super loud doing these battles. It goes from like quiet to like super loud. There we go, okay. You know, these guys, pro I don't know how the experience works with the archery, but I think that we're getting plenty of target practice. I think it might have to do with the difficulty of the troops that you're fighting or getting kills against, at least how, that's how it was in the old version of the game. I don't know how it works now. Um, I am curious. Yeah, that is, they said 13, there's only one there. Oh wow, I got a ton of cash. How did that happen? Okay, we got 48. How are we doing experience-wise? Um, no, they're bandits. Okay. Oh, this they've only got 40 defenders here. How am I doing party-wise? What's our... We got 5 wounded, 48 that can fight. I think we can take 40 with 48. Um, I am a little hurt myself. We're gonna do it. We're gonna raid. Sure, attack. We'll see what the, um, what this looks like right now. How many of them are there? I think I... Oh, I, I didn't look at their composition. After me! I just need to get like the high ground and hold it. I think um, I think they got spears, so I don't want to be charging in with cavalry. Yeah, they got spears and archers, so I want to like have cover and get my infantry. Yeah, horses, let's uh, not be charging in there. Doesn't seem like a good idea. If I can get... The horsemen over this side because the spearmen are on that side. That would probably be a good move. Soldiers in charge. Cavalry, follow me. Cavalry, though, stay with me. Um, we're gonna try and get the cavalry on these archers. Kill them all! Um, I think that we're winning. I don't. I don't really see too many opportunities for me to get any shots on them. But it looks like we're crushing them. Oh. I say as like three dudes tr come charging out of the woods at me. Oh, missed. Okay, these dudes need to go. I think they're trying to retreat, actually. Yeah, these is... Oh, I feel a little bad. This is like totally like buggy. They're totally trying to like, get away, but can't. Well, this village is going to get raided, most likely, by the looks of it. I don't see anyone else. I think we're good. Cool. I got five renown. We're attacking a bunch of villagers. I got five renown. Um, I don't think I'm going to take the prisoners just because I'm worried about it slowing me down. I will take all of your stuff, though. Um, and let's just kind of have it go at a at a at that speed for now. Maybe a little faster. I just kind of want to keep an eye out for um, parties coming by. I've not done the raiding in this game before. So I'm not really sure how this works. Can I take these things? Like if I click on it, because I've plundered these things. But does that mean that they're mine? Um, hold on. This dude's coming for me. Maybe I should stop raiding then. Um, can I force them to give me supplies? Yes, I can. Thank you. That's better than nothing. I think we're gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, that that group is—they're uh, not—they're not too happy with me. 
I'm glad that I did not take those prisoners. Let's just say that. Um, now the question is, where do I take my ill-gotten goods? Actually, I, yeah, I didn't get that many ill-gotten goods. Uh, I want to go to like here or like there. Let's go. Well, we probably want to hang out around Sargat, so let's maybe loop around this guy. Um, yeah, let's just be kind of careful. He's a little close. Yeah, if we get around him and go through these, uh, these woods here, I think that we'll be okay. I don't want to... I don't know if the Batanians get their wood bonus or not, if the game has it built into it. I've heard that there's a lot of bugginess with the, um, how that stuff works, but I think we've found a pretty decent method of, um, getting things is... And the raiding... That didn't work so well, but the forcefully taking things kind of did. I know it seems like that's the same thing, but it's not. <laughs> I swear. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of all this stuff. Same with that. It's just a bunch of junk. And we'll have a look at armor. I think this is the same place that we looked at earlier, and it's not got anything. What if we go to this place? I'm just kind of curious. I just want to get some better armor. Oh, we didn't even check the tavern for good units. I think we need a heal anyway, so it's fine. I'm not in any particular rush to go anywhere. Uh, I go to the tavern. Expert thug. Eh, better than nothing. I mean, those guys, I think they might actually be better if you're trying to do, like, a roguery character, but I don't know. Because I think they might have weapons that you can actually use in street fights. Um, most characters can't use those things. Kind of weird. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Um, I wanted to look at armor, right? And you do not have anything that I want here. Yeah, it's a shame. I could get a better shield, but I just kind of want to keep with the theme that we've been doing. We have so much money. I'm doing it. I, like, have to. It would be wrong not to. We could even upgrade our bow. This bow's a good bow. It's at, at 6k, but we can afford, like, a 30k bow right now. I mean, it's not even that much better. Step recurve bow. Yeah, it's like marginally better. It's not worth spending like all that money. What about horse wise? Could we get barding? Oh, we can afford barding. Yeah. I think we should go for that. Get our horse some proper armor. Nice. Very cool. Okay, so our horse is properly armored. I don't know what that really means for us, but it's... we'll see. I'm I'm interested to see what it it how it really um, affects gameplay. Not enough to do like a looter fight. That's not worth it. Of uh, land in peasants. I don't know if I want peasants. I don't want to have you guys fill up my slots. I will take you, though. Oh, we're over capacity now. Is that good? No. There's a, it says total 54. Okay, so I think that that's good now. Um, Axemen? No, just a regular. Oh, veterans? Oh, those are the guys that I really like in the uh, the multiplayer. I'm excited to see what those end up uh, controlling like. Cool. Alright. We do have some better units there. Oh, got, got some supplies. Good amount, too. Got some beer. They had... Okay. That's kind of interesting. Um, I think... Yeah, let's make our way back into Batanian land and cause more ruckus. 
I'm, I, uh... I feel like there's not much choice for us right now besides this. Because, like, I don't have the power to really, um, do more. At least not now. Oh, they do have... Oh, yeah, this is the places that had, like, the big garrisons they were, like, looking at. Um... They're going back. There, was there some villagers? Yeah, that were trying to leave their place, so they probably have goods on them. I'm going to just really quick um, see what you got on you. They've actually got quite a few troops, so Sergeant, this take might take back. a minute, but we're, we'll end it right at the end of that, though. Horsemen after me! Cavalry! Horse archers! Footmen. Yeah, horse Mountain archers, archers! also Stay follow close. me. Yeah, don't be charging into the melee. It's kind of not ideal to be having our horsemen engaging over the water, so we'll try and pull these guys over through the water, and then we'll attack with the horses. Or maybe not even attack with the horses, we'll see. I think the infantry is kind of cleaning them off pretty nicely. Yeah, let's just get in there. They're not really going to cause enough damage for this to be of real concern. Just give them a little distraction there. I actually realized after the fact that that was kind of nice that that dude got trapped there by me. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Man, these stones... You gotta be careful with them. Actually, they, they've gone and done a fair amount of damage to me. Maybe I want to just take a step back in the battle. You know what? Let them get away. They're just peasants. They're not even gonna give us much experience. Um, look at all that grain. We just got 47 grain. That's what I'm talking about right there. Those dudes just gave us a huge amount of grain. So you just gotta wait for the villagers um, to... Okay, this is this the place that I uh, did the hostile action recently? It is. We're gonna see... Maybe I'll end this episode here if it lets me, yeah. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.